Shippensburg University is marketed as a place to get a good education. But SHIP could be missing one vital component to help us reach our full potential. Luke Barton has a story. Janelle Bowler came from an all-white high school. Though SHIP affected her black friends, she felt no different. They felt like teachers weren't really paying attention to them or, you know, weren't, you know, really reaching out to them, but I felt fine. Then there's Stephanie Engler, a senior from Pittsburgh who came from an all-black school. Coming to Shippensburg for her was a big change. Honestly, for me, it was a bit of a culture shock. I'm a city girl. I've gone to city schools my whole life. I'm used to being in classrooms where I'm more so the min minority. With minorities only making up 10% of both student and faculty population, not every student understands diversity as Janelle and Stephanie do. And since college is the place we have to learn about such important concepts, could that lack of diversity actually be hurting us? Dr. Sharneen Herbert is the Director of Ethnic Studies at SHIP. I believe that the university has a lot to offer all students, but I think uh, the more we diversify our faculty and our student body, the better off we're all, we'll all be. If all of your um, authority figures or teachers are you know, white, straight men, you're going to be sending a certain message to students um, about who's valued and whose voices are important. Dr. Andy Dunlap, professor of social work and researcher of diversity, says not being taught in a diverse setting could impact us negatively after graduation. When you get out into the real world, away from South Central Pennsylvania or away, away from this area, it might be quite a shock to your system. And I think as educators, we've probably done you a disservice if you haven't gotten a broader experience at college. He says just getting more minorities here isn't really solving the problem. If, if, you're, if your model is, well, let's just get enough black kids into the classroom and that's going to sort of by osmosis, people will learn about racism and, and you know, get desensitized or whatever, you're actually doing a huge disservice to those black students because you're basically using them. We're not really learning about each other just by standing next to each other. True multiculturalism, true diversity comes in sharing experiences. Dr. Herbert says we should take steps to make the campus more diversity friendly to improve diversity of population and our own education. If you just sit back and wait for them to come, it, it doesn't work by the build it and they will come model. Uh, because once you build it, if I get there and I see that it is not a friendly or warm place, I'm not likely to stay or send a friend. For SUTV News, I'm Luke Martin. To learn more about diversity, consider taking a class offered by the Minority Studies Department or join the Multicultural Student Organization.